All right, in this tutorial, we are going to go over how to do an inventory uh, adjustment or transfer for something like your in-store use. So maybe you've got something that you, you purchased to sell, but you're gonna use some of it in-store for various reasons. So in order to do that, make that um, adjustment, we're gonna go into the inventory module and we're gonna go to our internal transfers. Now, before we get into this, I just want to remind if you have if you haven't set this um, uh, the accounts up on where you want to uh, make these adjustments to or these transfers uh, to your your chart of accounts, uh, you'll want to watch the previous video on how to set those up. So after you have those set up, we'll come in here to our internal transfers, and I have none to process, so I'm just going to create a new one. We need a contact on these. I'm just going to put my name in here, and uh, and we'll go with that. And then we need to decide first off our source location and our destination location. So I've already gone ahead and created an um, an in-store uh, virtual location that says says, "Hey, I'm going to I'm going to take this out of stock and put it into uh, my in-store use location." And so that's where we've gone there. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and select my product that I, I want to move. And you can add as many to this as you want. So I'm going to uh, save that. I don't have any units there. Uh, so before I do that, I just wanted to, to show you uh, if we go into our products, uh, we have and we were to search for that product, you can see I've got 15 units on hand that, um, we can, that we can sell. So now if I come back into my inventory and I go to my internal transfers, I've got one to process. I can uh, grab this one. I can put in one unit and then I can validate that and it will move that uh, product out of my inventory and into the um, into my store use category. We can see what it's done. It's uh, taken that valuation out of our inventory. Uh, and then is, if we want to go look at this, we can go look at our products and type in seven. We'll find that again and you'll see I've got 14 units on hand. So that's taken it out. Uh, that's how we can do those uh, uh, in-store use or different internal transfers. Uh, you can do this for a scrap location as well if you need to scrap something. But again, you'll need to set that up uh, before doing your internal transfers. Thanks for watching.